Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my December favorites for you. And the items that I've really been reaching for throughout the month of December, sorry it is kind of late, um, I still have to do a yearly favorites video too, so um, you'll probably see that one here in the next few days as well. So I don't want to take a whole lot of time because I have quite a few things I want to mention. Um, but the first item I want to mention is this eyeshadow brush right here. This is a eyeshadow brush that came in a Sonia Kashuk collection. It's kind of, um, it's a um, blending brush, but it does have a point on the end kind of. It's really nice to get in after you've used a fluffier one to put in a transition color, then to take this one and a sh shadow that's a little bit darker than your transition color and really get that directly into the crease. Uh, it blends out beautifully. I really, really, really like this brush. Uh, I don't know why I've never really used it before. Now with this brush, I've been really enjoying my new Lorac Pro palette. Um, I didn't really think I needed to get this, but I came across it at Kohl's, um, surprisingly. If you didn't know that you can get quite a bit of fun makeup products at Kohl's. They have the Lorac, 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 how do you pronounce it, line. They have the Balm and several other fun little lines, as well as um, Real Technique brushes, too. So I really, really love this palette. Um, it's what I have on my eyes today. The colors are so creamy. There's not a lot of fallout. They're just really, really beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow colors. So these two products together have been wonderful for my eyes. The next product that I've been loving for this month is actually, which one do I wanna talk about first? It's actually this product right here by Control Correctives. Um, this is a multi-complex fade gel. So this stuff right here is amazing. If you have any discoloration on your face, um, then it helps to lighten that discoloration up. I personally have um, a lot of scarring around my jawline um, and a little bit here on my chin. So what I do um, is wash my face, before I moisturize, I take this um, gel, and it's a really liquidy gel, so you have to be really careful when you squirt it out of the top, and then um, just rub it on the spots that I have near the discoloration. This stuff is, I think it's working. I've been using it for about a month, and I feel like it's lightening my um, spots up pretty good. Um, it does have glycolic acid, hydroquinine, and kojic acid in it. When you use this product, you have to use an SPF. And when I say SPF, not just your foundation having SPF in it, but you need a separate SPF of 30 or higher when you're using this. Otherwise, you're defeating the purpose. The sun is still getting through to your skin and darkening those spots up. So I use the Control Corrective's um, uh, sunscreen, which is SPF 30, with this. I don't care for the sunscreen. I feel that it dries my skin out. Um, I thought it would be cool because I have really oily skin, so I got the oil-free one. It's actually pretty drying on my skin, so I didn't really care for it, but I do really like this product a lot. So if you have discoloration on your face, um, then definitely try this out. And it says here on the back, helps to reduce hyperpigmentation and balance out skin tone. An easily penetrable formulation that includes kojic acid, hydroquinine, and licorice root extract to gradually lighten dark spots. And I really feel like it does do that. All right, the next item that I've really been liking, and I apologize you guys, it is dirty, is my Beauty Blender. It's, um, I just finished my makeup a little while ago, so it's really, really kind of gross. I need to wash it. Really kind of nasty. But I really do like my Beauty Blender for applying um, pretty much all my foundations that I have. I haven't found um, any of my foundations that I have that this is bad with, so I really, truly enjoy that for having a very light, coverage look of foundation on a daily basis. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The next, I only have two more items left. So yeah, the next one that I've really, really been enjoying is my Lancome, um, what is this called? Basically it's a base coat for your eyebrows. This is a sample one of it. I've been using this for a while and I really, really like it. I've been using it a lot in December. Um, because I did a lot of looks um, for holiday parties and I had a lot of mascara on on numerous occasions. This stuff is great when you're packing on the mascara. It really um, helps me be able to put my mascara on without worrying about getting it off later. Um, I don't know why and it's just a good base coat to just have a good um, base ground for your eyelashes and then when you start packing all that mascara on they just seem like they're more full or something um, when I use this stuff. It does it's kind of funny looking. 
it's white um, and it has pretty goopy I think mine's actually getting a little bit old I probably need to open up a new one that I have but I really do enjoy this stuff it helps me be able to get my eyelashes clean for some reason usually if I don't use this I have a hard time getting my mascara off so and I've been using it with my hypnos um, drama mascara as well as um, my benefits they're real and my Clinique I forgot the name of Cl I think it's like Clinique drama Clinique something I don't know it's one of the Clinique ones with the tapered point on the end so I've been really enjoying that stuff and the last like combo of things that I've really been enjoying for December is a nude lip um, now you guys know I have a hard time finding a nude lipstick that really truly works for me and my skin type. I have one that I can use without putting any kind of a lip gloss or another lip color with it and I love. But I came up with this concoction of three products here that help get me the perfect peachy nude lip. Now if any of you guys know of a nude lipstick um, that might match my skin tone, please let me know without having to do a bunch of extra stuff to it. Um, if any of you guys are the same skin tone as me, please let me know what you use for a nude lip. I am on the hunt to have a few more other than my Lancome one that I use, um, or Estee Lauder. It's one of those two brands, I can't remember. But what I've been doing this month for a nude lip is using, using, using my, what brand is this? Smashbox Cosmetics lipstick in the color nylon nude so this color here now you would think by itself that this one would be okay on my lips it's not um it's really pretty but it makes me kind of look washed out so what i do first is i'll apply this on and then on top of it i actually am using my ysl um, rouge velope Day shine in the color number 15 and it's a peachy lipstick really pretty lipstick and you would think why am I putting this with another lipstick this should be able to stand alone well it does by itself but it just the Smashbox needs a little bit of help so I use um, this corally peachy color here and I just kind of dab it on and to the desired consistency or not consistency to the desired amount of lipstick that I'm looking for um, once I dab it on I then take my finger and I just kind of smooth it out a little bit and I finish it off with this nude gloss from NYX. And this is in the color Creme Brulee. Um, it's the NYX Butter, cloth, butter Gloss. Um, so I put that on top. Then I take my finger again and kind of smudge it all together to create, for me, the perfect peachy nude lip. So I've really been enjoying that combination for the month of December. And I think that might be all the items. Let me make sure. Is that everything? Yeah, because some of the other stuff I've been using is actually going to have to be January favorites. I just picked them up the end of December and started using them this month, so I can't talk about them right now. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned, um, definitely let me know in the down bar. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great one. Bye.